Hey guys, welcome back. This is uh, Chris Ashby from Utah. I'm uh, with you here at the Snake River Fly Shop in Pocatello. And today we're going to tie up one of our tube sock crawdads for you. Um, so in the vise today I've got a size 2 60 degree jig hook. Um, you can use whichever brand uh, you like. They've got some really cool ones here at the shop that work great. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll just start off with our thread on the front of the hook here. And I'm going to attach some eyeballs to it. So today I'm using the size large balls eyes. Take these and time in a bunch of figure eights. And the thread I'm using today is 140 denier. So now that I've got that locked in place, I'm just going to Take the thread, go ahead and bring it back towards the bend of the hook here. I'll stop it right about there, just past the hook point. Next, I'm going to attach some SRF laser legs for the antennae. So today, I'm going to be using the Fire Tiger. Uh, but you can use whatever color you like and whatever color will match the pattern for you. I'm going to take just a single antennae, or a single leg here. Just fold it in half and just start lashing it down to the hook here. I'll take that and bring it down about halfway down the band of the hook. thread right back up to the bend there. And next up, I'm going to be using some of the Stonfo V eyes. So these come on a plastic card and there's two different sizes on each one. Um, you can get these through a hairline. And it's, I believe it's a 2.4 millimeter and a 2.7 mil are the two sizes on the eyes. And so when you pop them off the card, they look like this. It's just a little single set of eyes with just a little stem on it. I'm going to take that now, go right up on the bottom of the hook, right where that bend is, and just tie that right into place. All right, so for the furls on it today, uh, we're going to be using the Techno Bunny inline. And I just cut off a little section um, I've got two of them here. So this one we're going to take it and we're going to furl them just like we did, or just like they do for the cheap sock minnow and sculpin. Let's take it and pinch it in both hands. And just start spinning it together and letting it wrap itself up here. Once I get that as tight as I want it, then I'll just take that material and fold it back over itself. Just let it come together. We'll go ahead and do one more of those again. Alright, now that I've got those done up, I'm going to measure them out so they're about the hook shank and length. I'll take one, I'm going to go ahead and tie it in on the far side. I'm going to take the second one and just kind of match up the tips on it. Tie 
side and on the near side. And I'm just going to go ahead and wrap down the body here just to help hold all of that down and in. bring our thread right back to where we tied those claws in. So the next step now is for the throat on it, a little bit of a color flash. I'm just going to be using some of the Hydro Hackle. And this one's in the chartreuse, but again, you can use whatever color you like to match the color of the crawdad that you're producing. So I'm going to just take this tie it in on the near side. I'm actually going to take that hook now and invert it. And I've got another little piece with Techno Bunny. This one we're going to use for the carapace on the bug. Take that and tie it in right on top here. Then I'll go in and wrap my thread forward and pull that carapace forward a little bit. Next, I'm going to take just a couple of wraps. Put the hydro hackle behind it first here. I'm going to pull that carapace back now and do just a few more wraps of the hydro hackle on the front of it. I'll go ahead and take that and tie it off. Once you get that tied off, go ahead and clip your hydro hackle off and do just a couple more wraps of threads in there just to help lock all that down into place. And the next up, let's go ahead and take another length of your bunny here. Take that, tie it in on the near side. I'm going to take my thread down, go all the way up and go in front of the eyes. I'm just going to take this bunny now and pull them back all the fibers as I wrap. I'm going to wrap that right up the hook. Now I'm going to figure eight it over the eyes. Once I got that all figured eight it on, I'll go ahead and tie this off and clip it. I need to bring that carapace over. For our to do that, I'm actually going to take all this material now. I'm just going to kind of split it across the hook shank here. Just pull it right down to the sides. Take that other little piece of bunny now. Pull it right over the top and tie it down. Just 
going to tie all this off good and build up a nice little thread head on it. Gonna trim off some of these little stragglers as I go. Just a couple, three or four turn whip finishes. Let's go. And now I just take a favorite little brush or, or Velcro brush or comb and just comb it all out here. And there's your completed tube sock crawdad.